This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the plains and we're going to be in the P400 American fighter jet. Well, fighter jet. It's an American fighter, but it's definitely not a jet. <laughs> Come on, Spartan, get with the program. So yes, we are still in arcade. However, this time we have crossplay enabled, so uh, we are against potentially PC players as well. Um, now, it's not a full lobby, so there's only like, uh, I want to say four or five of us on each team, but those are kind of nice lobbies to get used to. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. Um, I'll be honest, I have not been using the American fighters as they should be used. See, back in the day, and actually still today, the American fighters... I, I love planes, by the way. I really do. I love, I love planes. I love the American planes all the way up. My favorite plane ever is the F-117 Nighthawk. Just love everything about it. It's gorgeous. It's the first stealth fighter, even though technically it's a bomber. Uh, there's all kinds of good stuff. Um, but yeah, I love I love American planes. It's just it's something about them. They're just I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm biased. I don't know. But either way, I've been using these fighters all wrong. Okay, America has always been about. Um, what is, what is the word? Energy fighters. Okay? And I've been trying to get into turning battles in an American fighter, especially old American fighters during World War II. Um, it just doesn't work. Uh, American fighters are energy fighters. They're, they're shooting scoots. They're, they're the guys that, that like to uh, pop and squat. They, they go. They, they, they show up out of nowhere, they burn you down, and they take off and... and and get some height and do it all over again. So uh, I'm going to work on trying to use the American fighters as they were meant to be used uh, in the future. And as you can see, going full force trying to get these now. The thing to note about the P400 is that it's, it's the first American fighter that I've had that has the 20 millimeter cannon in the nose. So that's a good thing. It's mounted front and center, so it allows you to have that. Uh, that burst damage. Yes, you still got the 12.7 M2 Brownings. You gotta love them. Um, but now that we're starting to come up against some tougher stuff like this uh, B-34 up here, we've got to be careful because the 12.7s aren't going to burn people to the ground like they were early on. Now we're up against a B-34. Now this is probably a bit out of our our league here, because yeah, exactly, right there. Now, that is one of the most annoying parts about uh, planes, is if they shoot your pilot out, it doesn't matter how much damage you took to the plane, you're gone. So, uh, that's definitely a problem. Now, the P-40E-1 is my favorite plane so far. Uh, it just, it does better at making me turn it into an energy fighter. Now, I have gotten into some turning battles, but generally, I don't end up doing... Uh, sweeping turns with it I end up going high letting it stall out dropping the nose back down and, and getting a lot of speed to come up behind people again and that's kind of what American fighters are built for they are not the um, the the best at turning ever and especially the one that I've got now which is the uh, p38 lightning like that thing doesn't turn at all I mean, it's relatively uh, maneuverable due to the fact, or for a big plane. But if you go up against anything, any monoplane, you're, you're screwed. And biplanes, don't even think about it. <laughs> and it's such a big target that you just get melted the first time anybody sees you. But you can see here, we we're just trying to get as many rounds on people as possible. Uh, and here we're starting to get into a bit of a turning battle, but I've already got a six, so, you know, it, I've got the advantage. And as long as I can get these six Brownings on him, it, it's going to go badly for him. Come on, Spartan. Keep it. Come on. But he's also on an American plane. He's in the P-36, so 
even though he's in a slightly more agile plane than I am, uh, trying to get me off his back when we both have um, absolutely limited turning. Oh, come on, Spartan, don't let him stall and get you. There you go. Take him down. And get the nose down. Thank you. I've been using rolling and stuff a lot, too. It's just a lot of things that I've been changing up to try to get used to playing. And uh, I will be getting into simulation battles eventually. But again, this is the first time I've been able to actually hang with potentially PC players. I don't know if they actually are, but considering the same day I was only getting one Xbox player um, per match, I would say that some of these guys are probably PC guys. Now this is a biplane. you got to be extremely careful when dealing with biplanes because of the fact that they can slow way down and turn like nobody's business. So uh, you've got to be careful. And you can see I am slow as crap right now just trying not to allow this guy on my backside. I keep strafing him every time I get the nose around, getting a couple hits on him here and there. But it uh, looks like he's going, yep, yeah, he went straight into the ground, so we're good there. Here we got Montesi in the P-36, so uh, let's keep, uh, or let's get up to him and see if we can't help our uh, buddy take him down. So, uh, but yeah, this is one of the first matches where I've actually been able to hang out and do something, even though I got shot down immediately by the B-34. And then the amount of damage that I do and trying to bring us back at the end of this match is pretty good as well. So uh, we're just, I'm not the best at the initial engagement, which is something I'm gonna have to get better at due to the fact that I'm in American fighters that are gonna have to be very good at the initial uh, initial shot. And here we're getting covered in oil, we get him down. Uh, we don't get the kill for that, we get an assist, but it's fine long as he's dead that's all that matters now we got an f2a over here and uh, another player he's two and a half miles out we've got a fury over here getting chased by him it looks like so we're gonna go over here and try to help him out now we're going full throttle towards him and he's bringing him back towards us so we're gonna close distance really quickly can I get him off with one burst shots oh we don't even hit him are you kidding? Oh, he burned our he burned our teammate down, and these guys are crashing into each other, it looked like. That's not good. Uh, that guy's three miles out. Where is the guy that I'm looking for? I think they went down. They crashed into each other and crashed. So, uh, yeah, the radar's clear next to us, so we're going to go up here, try to help our, our teammate out against this P-36 again. Now, we're losing the fight barely. It's pretty close all the way through. We've got F3F over here. We've got B34 again. And uh, we've got the P36 again. So uh, definitely something we need to take into consideration is who I should engage here. And I'm going to go for the F3F because we, got, we already got a guy on the uh, P36 and he should be able to take that guy down. So I'm just going to burn straight for this guy. He gets over top of us, and we're going to turn it, and come on, Spartan, get the, get the nose over. Chasing a biplane. Here we go. Now, here's where the Americans excel, is coming in from the top, hard, and just don't, oh, he gets by us. You can see the speed difference. It seemed like he was going in slow motion going up versus us coming down. So, uh, and... He's got to be careful. An F3F isn't isn't a bad plane, but when it gets into a head-on like that, the uh, oh shoot, the P403 is it? 430 E 430? I don't remember. This thing has the advantage because six M M2 Brownings. It is just it's not it's not even a question. Uh, so you've got to watch getting in head-ons with uh, American fighters because they can overwhelm you with those cannons. Now, if this thing had a 20 mil on it, it would be amazing. Now you can see I am being shot from the rear, but I'm also trying to take this B-34 down. And uh, the guy behind me is doing minimal damage at this moment. Now we're trying to take this bomber down. Come on, we gotta get him down. 
But we've got to be careful. He's already shot me down once. And then I peel off and swing back around. See if I can't catch the guy. That, nope, that's P36. Ah, here we go. F3F, the guy that was on my backside. Do I have guns yet? No, I don't. Let's keep on him, see if we can stay behind him. And, uh... Doesn't appear that I'm going to be able to get the gun around. Come on. A little bit. Did he out? Oh, he went too far. He's chasing our teammate. Come on, Spartan. Got him. Got him. Goodbye, biplane. Okay, B-34. Can we go back and finish him off? That's a beefy plane to be taken down. American bombers or something else. Um, B-34. Uh, then you had, what, the Super Fortress? That was, that was really nasty back in the day as well just nasty bombers in World War II um, capable of taking so much damage there are bombers that had half like holes all through them coming back and still made it back and landed um, and then of course the unfortunate thing was the poor guys that were in the uh, bubble turrets man oh lie did they ever get torn up I forget what the average lifespan of a, a bubble turret. There we got him. Get out of here, bummer. Stay away from our stuff. Now, you would think, it, it feels like we're starting to come back here. We took down the bomber. That's a huge step. We, we've got a P-26 here. We took down a biplane. There are less and less players in planes on their team. So it feels like we're winning, but they've actually done a substantial job of taking down our, our uh, ground targets. And that's why they're winning currently. So I'm going to do everything I can to try to even this up. Can I do it? Now we're three and a half miles out from this P-26. So uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be a minute before we get there. But yeah. So uh, what do you guys think of, of War Thunder so far? So far I'm liking it personally. And I got a long ways to go, obviously. I'm no, I mean, I've been playing World of Tanks for over four years so that's I, I've got a pretty good handle on World of Tanks but on uh, War Thunder I just started I've got a few hours into it so that, that's definitely something that I've got to get more time in the seat so to speak but we're getting there we'll, we'll get there we'll be playing simulations or whatever you call it the uh, realistic battles and stuff and uh, I think it'll be fun I think it'll be fun, and you guys seem to enjoy it on the channel as well. So, uh, oh, come on, Spartan, don't miss. Got him. Down he goes. All right, so that's another one. We're on a three kill streak without being shot, and can we get, oh, we are never going to catch this guy. He's so high. Now, the climbing rate of this isn't bad, but trying to climb straight up, it just isn't going to happen. So you can see I'm trying to get a little speed and then go straight up and then get a little speed and go straight up. Uh, now I'm doing a sweeping turn where I'm trying to climb as I'm turning, hoping to be able to uh, maintain some sort of speed, but no, it just it's not going to happen. I just can't climb fast enough, quick enough, and uh, he's going to get away with this, and that's going to cost us the match. If I could have shot him down, I'm pretty sure we'd have won the match. But in the end, we run out of time, and uh, he gets away with it. So you can see, I'm just spraying. I mean, he's a mile and a half out. I'm not going to hit him. But <laughs> sometimes you just got to give it a shot. And we do get the final blow, so we got the last kill on the in the game. But unfortunately, we lost. We had six kills, and uh, I think we ended up top of the leaderboard. Uh, because our six kills and then multiple assists as well but we're level nine as you can see there and uh we're doing better we are doing better so there you go i'm at the top of the leaderboard we got some medals and uh not bad not bad for a noob so uh if you like what i'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video